Hi guys, welcome to Bukikara. Today I thought I might show you a traditional Monty. Uh, although it used to be a lot, lot bigger because I can, I just parked the car from around the corner there. Uh, it's not a very nice day. Probably the rain is keeping them up, but I remember the stores used to be all the way up here. Very quiet it looks now. We might go over here because uh, I'm going to try a pastizzi you may or may not have heard of if they've got it in stock. Um, I'll go, I won't go now. I'll go after uh, Tashema. Now I always know Shema as candle, but there's a, a particular sort of pastry. I mean, these are the, many of these hawkers, they call them, vegetables. Uh, oh, Zion, Akechoks. This is very popular, Palissa. They cook it together. Huh? These are all Maltese. Look at the wind, it's picking up, guys. So this is Brigacara Monti, a Brigacara Market. Santalina, we're going to go try and visit it. Many clothes, look, five. Five euros. Colour five euros. Ten euros. Come to Brigacara Market. Wow, look at the bargains. Five euros for clothes here. There is a 20 euro one. Hello. Hello. Very cheap. Eh? Very cheap. Uh, not, English, ma not, much, not much. Not much. Not much. Not much. Not No, no, no. No, Spanish. nothing. <laughs> oh, he doesn't speak any languages. Eh? Many clothes and that. Eh? Toys. Sunglasses. I came across uh, about three or four people. French, but there's no tourists here. Wow, look at this. Shoes, like here. So this is a bit more pushy. But they're over there, five and ten euros, look. How cheap. So normally, this is the civic centre. This is like a, a clinic. And uh, I think the solicitors here, there's a... They're redoing it, so half of it is closed at the moment, so the, you can't, there's toilets there and things like that, but it's where the local government is, uh, the count, what do you call them, council in England, but uh, oh, here's another cheapie, 10 euros, look at this, everything 10 euros, jackets and that, very cheap, uh, Wow, he's got bags and bags of this stuff. It's well, well worth it, 20 euros. That's really worth it. A lot of bags here, look. Uh, Santalina is just here, look. We're going to go around Santalina. But look at these. These are individually priced, I think. I mean, five euros, girls. Those snacks for jogging and that. Isn't that worth it? Eh? hashish, this is one now. Uh, wow. One twenty. Wow. Oh, pasta here, look guys. Four for three euros. Hello. Very cheap in some places. This is uh, quite well known as a sort of uh, low cost area as well, Bukukara. You can sell a lot of uh, products in shops, even cheaper. Electrical items, look guys. Oh, this is like cases for mobiles. Five euros. And many shoes are. Oh, look at the shoes he's got here. Boxes and boxes. How much is this for the kids? Like 10 euros. You need it for the warm. Eh? It was a lot busier in the old days. I remember more, more markets and more people. But it's been threatening of rain, so it could be that it's kept people away. There's a nice bread. I don't know if they've got it here. I'll give it up. This one here. Five 
there, there's a round bread. This one, sorry. The round bread here for. Especially this time of year, they they did it's like uh, almonds on the top, and the, and the taste is really nice. The bread, you would very much, you, you wouldn't stop eating it. Ten euros, fifteen. How cheap they are. Lots of vegetables here that are coming up now. This is more of the, of the uh, detergents and household. Many vegetables coming up, guys. And there's. I was gonna buy some plants. I might buy some plants. I want to. I'm looking for some herbs, some mints and uh, rosemary. I might buy some. Uh, Oh, look at the beautiful plants out here. It's got rosemary here. I'll buy some. I'll buy this too. And some mint. Mm. I think I'll buy that. That's very good. Very cheap. 250 and... Oh, look how nice the mint is here. I'll buy some of that. Come on, the mint. The mint. Come on, the mint. Oh, all right. So I'll come back when I fish. When I switch the camera off, I'll, I say I'm taking a video with Tal Monty. I want some rosemary, but when I come back, there. All right. Thank you. Jay, Tal, go on, because I can't hold it and talk at the same time. How mm. oh, nice egg this pastry is it? Ooh, I wish I'd have known he was here, this one. I had loads of cards. I give him away the cards. Oh, look how busy here. Yeah? Oh, wow. Oh, everything fresh here. Oh. 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 I'm not even going to get in there. <laughs> he was just shouting out this one. I can't even get into show Look at this. This makes fantastic soup. Eh? You can cut it and put it, but it doesn't seem very fatty. I normally buy that for the soup. Sourcing. Wow, this is a busy place, eh, guys? You can't get in there, though. Crowley, <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> Sorry. I can't even get in, so busy. Oops. <laughs> Very busy. They've got like a, a bit of an alleyway to go around, but they must be very cheap, that's why. Oh, she's just... Mm. Three euros, can I buy from here, look. Thermal. Only three euros. This is Santalina. Oh, well. <laughs> with, with camera, huh? In detail, brick a car. Wow. This one's got like uh, cheap food stuff, so vegetables. Oh, look how, look how it's threatening, guys. That black cloud. I think that's why it's a bit quiet today. But we, we showed you pretty well what it's like at the Monty. Uh, they used to have a monster, I think. Had it. There was a few, and the one in uh, Floriana. It's all gone now. I don't know. I don't know what's happened. There's a few vegetable people over here as well. I thought I saw more when I was by that detergent shop. This is like. Uh, Oh, quite good prices as well. Oh, the wind is coming, guys. That black cloud. <laughs> oh, I can feel it dripping on me, on my head. This cloud here. That one was more busy over there. Must be better prices. Wow, the wind's coming up. <laughs> Might go and get a pasta. See quick. 
So let's go and have a look at uh, Santalina. Feeling it's interesting if we can get up here. This Talhut, this one. Uh. Hello. Mind your head. Yes, I will. Oh, look. Can I take a video of your fish? Yes, you can take all of it. You've got fresh salmon and yes, yes. swordfish. Yes. And this one, what's this one? Achola. Achola. It's coming. Shit, I did. Very quiet, I could call it. You know, I remember the old days. Yes. Oh, an octopus. Eh? Uh, Cheap, eh? Good price. How much is swordfish? Swordfish 18. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love swordfish, eh? With you a bit of capers some. and. You get some. And marad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, eh? Oh, there's some fish here as well. Huh? Oh, shit, huh? Should we? Huh? Shit, huh? Shit, huh? Shit, huh? Uh, look, let me take a bit of this. Wow. I'm just taking a video of the Monte going around. Hello! Oh, maybe it goes past, take the cloud. Every, how many of this you do a day? Huh? How many you do a day? Uh, Half the came came hood. We got some nice ones here though. That's a beer swordfish uh, over there. Wow, well, this long one, this uh, that's all, isn't it? Matsola. Ma matsola. And you've English got how many? Dogfish. Oh. Uh. So you've got everything: dogfish and catfish. Uh. Thank you. Uh. Good luck. I hope he does it. Let's shit, uh. It's coming down, guys. Uh. Let's go in Santa Luna. Well, we got the chance. Oh, wow. I might walk. I want to see this one first. Let me walk up here, then I'll walk back down into Santa Luna. Wind's picking up a bit down here. Here's another vegetable guy. This one sells everything though. It's got onions and things like that. Though. It's not as good as it used to be. I remember in the old days, the, uh, the Monte, as they call it. It was right up to the top of the road there. Eh? Wow, this is a cold wind. Let's have a look at the church while we're here. Hopefully it's uh, it's doing the mass now. Or it's in the middle of the mass or it's just finished the mass. Because in the morning there's about three or four of them. Many of these uh, Tahashish vegetable people. This is the square, the uh, Bikakara square. just checking the GoPro sometimes it's been uh, I don't know if it's the memory card or it's just the GoPro GoPro 10 it's got a tendency of cutting off a bit it's a bit early for me guys anyway we'll see how we we sussed we'll be a bit quiet walking around I think this is the main is the main door open I don't think you've got to go from the side or oh, the main door there it is look let's show you first of all Santa Lina <laughs> I thought they used to be down here as well, the Monte. Oh, the, there's two side doors. Anyway, there it is. Santa Lina. The biggest bell. This is controversial. I know it's the biggest bell in Malta. And the people here are called Patata Chatta. Why are they called Patata Chatta? When we come out of the church, I'll tell you. <laughs> Patata Chatta. Black buttons. Thank you. Look how big it is, guys. Just finished the mass. No lights on though. It's a bit gloomy. But there's no chandeliers. Oh, there's spotlights up here. But look at the beautiful work on the sides there. Sandalina right in front of us. We'll go and see her. Hello, Bonjour. It's a bit dark to see them. I hope the GoPro is picking them up. Because there's some uh, really beautiful artwork here. 
And I was hoping we meet somebody, maybe we go to the top, but it's, they were having some trouble up by the bell. been noticing many of these to get up high to do the work because it needs a lot of renovation. There's like two of these each side of the altar. Santalina, I think uh, this is the one that they carry around. This is called a niche, a niche. And just two weeks before the festival, I take it out to you. I think it's two weeks I take it out. I think maybe different places have different uh, niche, a uh, niche is called, that's what it's called. They take it out to there. Oh, how nice. These are beautiful, these. Uh, bronze statues here. I like these very much. I thought that was Santorino. It's like a uh, morty stone, but look at the work up there guys. I love the artwork and the dome. We'll try and get up here if we can. Uh, it's closed off so there's nobody around. I was going to ask if we can go up to the bell. We'll have to do it another time, I think. It was really just to come and show you the Monte. So who's this? This is Santa Lina as well, but I don't think this is the one they carry around. Beautiful. It's Santa Lina as well, but I think the one in the niche is the one they carry. Big organ there. I was hoping that the mass was finished because I don't like to record when the mass is on. Um, and we've only got half an hour, and it was, I think it's going to close now. Santa Lina, this is the parish church of Bricacara. Fantastic festa. I'll show you what they do in a minute. Steve, tell us about the potato chapter. Oh, this is nice here. Anyway, let's go out. Uh, the Festa of Bricocara Santalina. They carry it around the village. That one in the niche. Mm -hmm. Ooh, really? This wind is very cold. Anyway, Santalina. She goes around the village. And to get back in the church. 
through the main doors behind me. Oh, nice here. Parking, parking is a disaster here. What are you talking? Quiet, Steve. <laughs> Imagine you run up here. They run up the stairs non stop. They don't stop. If I got a photograph, I'll show you. And they run up these stairs and straight in there. Now they run up the stairs, it's not as bad as Hamroon. Hamroon, they do the same thing, they run up as well. Uh, I'm gonna go and see if I can get a pastizia, I think. I'm parched. I'm always like this in the morning. Well, look at the weather. We did a couple of lost inns because there's some, it's a nice place around here. Many small streets. Let's go and see if there's any pastizia because they're probably, they've eaten them all. Hello, did you pass it, please? Tashema and Dek Tashema. Ah, Bazeli, please. And we had a weird Tashema. All right, thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're gonna try these guys. This is up the corner here. <laughs> Let's try to walk the table's a bit wobbly guys. Is this Tashema? Oh no. Call it Tashema, I think. How flaky it is guys. Oh, it's so flaky. This one's about the same, I think. I think he, I think he didn't understand me. He gave me terracotta. And this is Tashima. Very flaky though. I think I prefer the other one. He gave me one pea and one ricotta. Anyway, I'll eat these. Back to you soon, guys. Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, what did you eat then? Pastizzi? Yes. Tashema yo normale? Uh, sausage rolls. Sausage rolls? Yes. Be careful, because... No, me uh, That's mum, mate. Mum. For me, no. Don't do it for him. <laughs> I'm going to carry on down. I'm going to buy some mint. Uh, nani. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Sabia, and some rosemary. Yeah. As this one. Huh? As this one. It was cheap down there, I think. Uh, yes, yes. If you find it. Have a look on English Pan and Malta. You see yourself. Eh? <laughs> hey, well, down there's got a lot Italian. of. Huh? Even Italian. In tea? No, intelligent tea. This one, that is Italian. Oh, well, that's why you're speaking then. I'm going to carry on down then. Eh? There you are. Oh, <laughs> Look, everybody's put away, guys. Just in a few minutes, we had this big rainstorm and everything came down. But at the, what time is it? It's still half past nine. <laughs> everybody's packed away. Look at this. Uh, that was the quickest place. <coughs> everybody's gone. But I don't think it's going to come down anymore. I just gave up. It's the way out. It's temp. Yeah. Everybody's packed it. Let me see if I can find this guy again. This from the. I want to buy some rosemary and some mint. If he's still here. Ah, oh, here he is. He's not putting away yet. <laughs> I suppose outside is. You don't have to worry about them, eh? of the plants. Let's buy a couple of these. I'm going to have some rosemary. Oh. Yeah. 
We had. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Complete. Huh? <laughs> Complete. I'm gonna take. Uh, got some nice plants though. Everybody's gone, no guys. <laughs> Let's switch off and uh, because he doesn't like it. I'll be back to you soon. I think he's giving me a funny look. So, because I did the cooking yesterday and I wanted some rosemary, but I don't think he Basil's not out yet. So what I did is bought some uh, from here, five euros, two fifty each, nanich, which is mint, and rosemary. I don't know. Tell me, <laughs> that pasticci, <laughs> the pasticci got me. Rosemary, what's rosemary and Maltese? Anyway, everybody's gone. Just a little bit of rain. And it's gone. Take care, everybody. This is Bricacara Monty on a rainy day. He said Wednesday's the best, but everybody told me Tuesday's the best. Who knows? How beautiful, hey, St. Helens. Santalina. Viva Santalina. Where have they all gone? Hey guys. <laughs> it's the next day now after I thought I put a little bit of bonus on. It's still cold and windy, but I couldn't do anything in the afternoon. Non-stop rain from when we came from the Monte. I hope you liked it. I'm sorry it was a little bit quiet. Uh, that lady at the pastissi place, her son, she said Wednesday was very, very busy, so um, I always thought Friday would be a good day. Anyway, I do this weather report. I do it on the Instagram, so go and see me on Instagram, on TikTok. All the links are below. But today it's a bit windy. It's on the other side over here, look. Always on the back where, I, where I've got the computer in the back room there. It's a lovely warm, but on this side, you can see over by St. Anton Gardens there. It's pretty cloudy. And coming over from St. Paul's Bay that way, uh, from the north, was a really lot of rain but a bit of clouds anyway i thought i'd show you a little bit um i put it down here i bought those uh, mint plants i haven't done, i haven't even unwrapped them they're soaking i left them outside though i just was going to show you a little bit what i do i'm going to repot them and if you're interested just click away if you're not oh you turned around i'm not sure if you're picking up everything there what i'll do is i'll put the camera down what I do is, every year I buy these sort of mints. It was, um, <coughs> how much was this? 250, a little bit more than I normally pay, because I normally pay about 150 for these plants, or one euro sometimes. But this is quite healthy, I saw it, and very fat. So, but I get a lot of plants out of this. What I do is, uh, I, I do one of these tubs here, look. And I've got the rosemary as well. The rosemary, the rosemary came out. <coughs> Sorry, a bit croaky, just had my breakfast. And it was uh, a good day, so I thought, rosemary as well, I do some cuttings out of. So I make, sometimes I give them away, I do some uh, extra plants. I was trying to get this down a little bit, so you see this, but I might bend it in a bit. What I'll do is I cut these, just before the uh, the thing of this, like this up here. It, it works every year, I think this one a bit lower, just below the leaves. Tell me if you do this, guys, if this, if there's a better way. Right, I'll cut all those off the, off the thing. Take the bottom leaf off. And this, you don't have to worry about uh, hormone thing. You just stick it in water. And I'll show you what I'll do in a minute. Those I'm going to put there for a minute. And I'll plant what I'll do. Is, and this, don't waste the leaves. This makes really excellent tea. I... Uh, Good for the indigestion, for the digestion system. Uh, makes just put some leaves in a in some hot water. Comes out really good. So this, so these here, if, they, if we don't blow away, <laughs> I did this here. Let me just show you. Let's put you down a little bit. I've got you on a gas bottle at the moment. So this is from last year, like bits and pieces here. I don't know. I've got. It might have things that's growing in it. I don't even know. I'm gonna put a bit more soil in it. Let's get a bag of, I've got a bag of soil over it. What I've been doing lately, because I, I spent a lot of money on plants, 
and I thought, um, I'm just gonna. Oh, this is very, very thick. This one. <laughs> I was gonna this year do a lot of cuttings and big fodder and steel. Hey, this is an insight into Englishman's life. I might cut a little bit in, in between. This is from uh, all the plants soil from last year. This is Englishman in the garden. Are you picking that up, guys? You don't normally see this side of me. But I've loved plants. I've been growing them for a long time. But here on this terrace, you get a lot of wind. And a lot, a lot of sun in the summer. Sometimes it's, really, it's so intense. You can be watering twice a day. So this I'm gonna put in the middle. What was that guy that used to do in the England? A Percy Thrower. This is Percy Thrower in the garden. Oh, look at this pot bound here. Oh, quite good, look how, how it grows. Mint, I'll give you some advice on mint. Where are you going, guys? Come on this way. If you're gonna, Get that blow over there. If you're gonna grow mint in the garden, or anywhere really, it's in very invasive, invasive. So put some netting around it, or put it in a pot. So that one's ready, look. Oh, we've got, we've got another one here. So I'll cut that off from the bottom. Take the bottom leaves off. And I'll show you in a minute. Ooh. <laughs> It's gusty, guys. It's very gusty, the wind. Sounds like I planned it like this. That'll grow like crazy. But let me show you in a minute. Uh, let's cut a second. This is blowing everywhere. And I've got some other plants to show you. So this is going to be like a bit, another five minutes. So clip away if you was watching the monkey. So that's ready. I'm going to give it a bit of water in as well. But it's, it's very, it's very wet. Let me show you this, guys. So I've got, I've got one. So I've got one of these. I bought it uh, two of them last year. I think it's from Lidl. They were very cheap. They were just one fifty with a crocus bulb in it. But what I do is like this. I won't leave this in outside. So I fill it up, look. And those cuttings that I had, just stick them in. And you've got new plants. Oh, you've caught. It. Sorry about that. <laughs> the wind blew underneath. <laughs> Try and keep it above where you cut the leaves, because the, li well, the leaves will just go dead anyway, though, if they're too soaked, soaked in water. You don't have to worry too much about mint. You can see, actually, see down there at the very bottom where it's, it's uh, rooting already. In fact, it's not the first time that I've just. Shall we stick this in the soil? Let's put one of these in the soil. This one or another one. We'll put two, shall we, over this side. Put one on this side. And another on this side. And if you're interested, we'll come back and we'll see which one's spouts the worst. As soon as it's got roots on the bottom here, you can plant it, give it away, or keep it in the kitchen garden here and it'll grow Inside it grows, if you give it a bit of light though, but I tell you it's really invasive, so be very careful guys. So we've got the rosemary here. I won't plant it because I've got another pot and I'll show you some other things that I bought. This is another one that I, that I do. Very easy. Take the bottom off, don't waste them because uh, I might, actually I might because it's blowing like crazy. Take the bottom leaves off like this. Look. I'll put those there. And then with your nail, just take the outer skin off, off the rosemary. Can you see, guys? There's like a, there's like a greasy outer, you want to get down to the sort of fleshy part. Is there like a flesh there? Can you see it, guys? That, and that, just stick it in the ground and you've got another one. I'm going to put it there for the time being. Uh, you can put some rooting, com rooting compound on, on if you want, but uh, 
I found it doesn't really matter. Rosemary grows really good as well. And you've got from this here, don't, don't attack it too much, but you've got another six or seven plants. So for 250, there I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mint plants. And this you could do about seven as well. So you could divide the 250 off. <laughs> Very easy. This I'll, this I'll put inside. Steve, we can't see you. This is what I know that, oh, let me bring this over. It's a bit difficult with the camera. I know it's, uh, you can't see it's perfect. I bought this one as well. Actually, my sister-in-law bought, bought this. Oh, everything is soaking from yesterday. This was um, a plant of one euro 50. And I've made, I just divided it. It looks a bit scraggy at the moment, but there are, but they are, they are growing up. Here, it's, it's growing. So for one, one euro 50, one, two, three, four, I got four plants. And even this one was very scraggy at the very beginning. It was, it was from a, a, one of these vegetable guys that does a home growing by yourself. And this can, you can divide as well. You can see already, I repotted it. And it's sprouting already. And all of these, when it comes into a clump, you can just break them apart, dividing, I think they call it, eh? But uh, already these, this was already bad. But these, it's coming growth from the bottom here. Same here with that. <laughs> Shh, don't tell us this, Steve. Keep it to yourselves, guys, because uh, I went to uh, the Bast... Uh, not the lately one, the Bastion Garden, the one by Pietà, um, my lady's garden. Do you, know, you remember that, guys? And I, I walk in past and I, grub, I grabbed uh, some of these spider plants, these here. And I'm just trying to see the one. This is another one I got. This is not doing that great at the moment, but it's uh, it's coming along. And this one as well. Look, this drops off the the buds, and it grows into something like this. This was from a, a heather from Lidl, one euro fifty. And look how it's come. Same as these here. Look, these are all cuttings from the leaf. Just break the leaf off and stick it in. I'm trying to find that spider plant that I had. Oh, I almost took it inside then. And this is why, oh, this is a nice one. I'm waiting for it to see, look. Can you remember? Remember back, guys, uh, let me sit down. I've got, a, I've got a soggy bottom here. <laughs> it's the worst thing when you've got a soggy bottom here. Remember when we went um, Christmas? We met that guy, that really nice guy from the, from the government. He, they do that sort of... Where was it over by Aura? Uh, they did that. It wasn't that great, the Christmas uh, Christmas lights. But it gave me some uh, a plant. This is how it came. It's still a bit down in the dumps, but it's come from the side already. And this here, I, what you do is you let it. Well, I'm trying to. I'm not giving you advice. I'm just telling you what I do. What you do is let it dry on this on the stem. Don't take it off until it's really really dry. Put it in a, a clean sort of foil and then just keep it and it'll grow again. This is the cheap, this is Percy Thrower. Cheap, uh, oh, there's my, I've got my blind cat here. Do you want to see her? She's a very nervous. She don't, uh, she don't want to come out, I don't think. But let's see if she comes out. She hates the wind. <laughs> no. <laughs> she hates the wind. It must be because she's blind. I, I got a, many years ago, when I used to be in Hamburg, somebody gave me some, they left her in a cardboard box. They, the vet told me she had cat flu. Uh, that's what her eyes, they wanted to take her eyeballs out and I said, and sew her up. And I said, no, she's still, she's, she must, cause she catches flies. So she must see a sort of a shadow or something like that. There she is, look. But uh, if you let, let her outside, she's all right. She walks along and she can get up on the wall. You have to be careful because she's, you don't know what's in that brain. But uh, I think with the wind, it, uh, it affects her somehow and she gets really nervous. But somehow, sometimes she don't like me. She's got, uh, she's got that thing, this thing about men. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's just a little, I might cut it a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm gonna share it. If you're interested in these sort of things, uh, the bok choy, I've got this as well. Look at this bok choy. 
to sell to seeds and it's coming to seed as well this is uh we're still in the a bit of a winter period here in malta so it's still a bit of a cold wind and in the evening it's very cold i was going to invest in a bit of a green house here you can see all my barbecue and everything it's all it's still wrapped up anyway guys take care hope you enjoyed the monty sorry it wasn't so great but it's a bit of an insight into Morty's life. That's, it's the, it's still the winter time. We might go back. We might go, if you're interested, tell me. Might go and see Mosta. Uh, and somebody told me about Burgu. It's not that bad, uh, but even that's gone down. I think the problem is, you know, uh, markets now in Malta they used to be very cheap, but now, to tell you the truth, this plant's what I bought, 250. I think I could go to the garden centre and get it for two. Are people going to go out and just... Uh, the, the adventure is gone, I think, of the Montes that used to be. Because you remember the ones in the ditch in uh, Floriana? You could get things really cheap, but I don't know if they were knocked off or what. But Montes have gone now, I think. They're trying to make too much money. Anyway, bye, bye guys. A little bit of a bonus. It's, I think it's tended up to be as longer than the video. But anyway, it's a bit of fun, eh? Bye, guys.